Uh, hello. Hi. Get right up on the microphone. Don't be afraid. Hello. I didn't. I didn't mean to say afraid because that means it sounds like that, I was like, get up on the fucking microphone. That, it's okay. I'm very afraid. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> uh, so my name is Brock. Hello, Brock. Uh, I believe I wrote to y'all that I work for a mattress blog. Yes. 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 Um, I should maybe explain that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing is that it's not my mattress blog. I was hired to do some freelance work. The second thing is that it's Wait, a mattress... Wait, there's enough money in mattress bloggery that they can hire freelance employees? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. I'm paid obscenely well. Fuck wow. yeah. You give us advice. Shit. Well, as somebody who has, uh, <laughs> we are paid to talk about mattresses yeah. from time to time. I've bought an oceanfront loft with my mattress money. Mm. Okay, Brock. So what's the problem? <clears throat> so, the second thing. This is a mattress review blog. I don't write the reviews. The people who write the reviews don't actually sleep on the mattresses. It's kind of whoa, mattress gate. Whoa. So Whoa. hold on, you're giving it all away! Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, this wait. is this would maybe get me in trouble with my boss, but it's okay. You write for the mattress blog. The yes. people who write the reviews don't sleep on the mattresses. No. What do you do? I write the other content on the blog, no, which but is the, all about... I think Griffin's question is, oh. what would that other content be? Yes. Right. Gossip? Things like, you know, what's the difference between a latex foam mattress and a memory foam mattress. And what, what is the difference? I mean, I would have to refer you to the blog. Yeah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna give it test. away for free. He's not gonna save us the click, Travis. Okay, so this is wild, continue. So my main problem is that I'm, I've been doing this for a couple of months. My roommate had the same job before me and he did it for like a year. What's going on? Did you just Are we in a dystopian future? Yeah, you, okay. yeah, obviously yes, but... Did you inherit the job? Yeah, basically. My okay. roommate quit uh, this spring, and this summer I needed a job. So I asked if he could refer me, and he did, and now I have it. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Yeah. So what's the problem? It sounds like a pretty uh, cushy well, gig. The Literally. Problem, the problem is that it's yeah, been... Yeah, it's fine. It went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> Fuck off. The problem is that I've been doing this for two and a half months, and I'm out of ideas. Okay. Right. Yeah, they are mattresses, so... Yeah. Now, this is a... Okay. In order for me to give you any of my answers, I first need an answer to this question. Okay. Do people, like, follow up on, say, the truthfulness of the things you write? Do you think Absolutely that's... Absolutely not. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Here's what you're going to do. That opens a lot of doors for us, Here's Brock. Here's what we've got. That. Celebrity mattresses. Just it writes itself. What? It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, I don't know what that is or it means. Celebrities, itself. they're just like us. They sleep on mattresses. They're also mattresses. Yes. When they eat spicy food, they turn into mattresses, no, I'm not just saying, like us. No, this isn't like celebrity corgis. I'm saying that these are mattresses owned by celebrities. Right. What, celebs, okay. what mattresses do the celebs own? Yes. And you're going to treat it like it's hot goss. Like, you'll never believe this. What kind of mattress does Andy McDowell sleep on? You know, that's a great question, but I can make it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's it, our point, Brock! Annie McDowell is not gonna call your house and be like, bullshit. And if that does happen, <laughs> that's fucking cool. That's so cool. <laughs> then you have another story you have for a the neat blog. story. That's an extra story for the you blog. You could write about hero mattresses that saved their owners' lives. Yes. That's very good. People love that. Maybe a mattress that was seen on the subway eating a piece of pizza. Or that's fun. smoking a cigarette. Yes. What mattresses are the best for wiping up ketchup if you're extremely rich? Nice. Can you use mattresses and napkins? Is that an option? Which, oh, can you do taste tests? <laughs> Is that a possibility? Which mattress goes down smooth? Uh, gosh. There's a lot of options. We've run out, but, um... I bet you'll think of more. Could you, uh, no, I'm done. <laughs> Can you use any of those? Yeah, I think that helps a lot. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Brock. Brock.